Hello, my name is Dylan Jones, and I would like to welcome you to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. Today's session will highlight the use of a floating license setup for GPS Pathfinder Office software. We will begin by explaining the differences between the Mapping and GIS License Manager and the Pathfinder Office License Administrator. Secondly, I will provide some important tips to remember when setting up your floating license. This will be followed by a video tutorial that goes through the steps for downloading and installing the software, as well as the setup and a look inside the license manager and administrator. Lastly, we will provide you with a few troubleshooting tips that could assist you throughout the setup of your floating license. Let's begin by differentiating the license manager from the license administrator. On the left we have the license manager which you can think of as the library of licenses or installation codes. It is where the software checks a license code in and out from. The license administrator can be thought more of as the reader. It is what goes to the library to check in and out a license code. The license administrator is automatically installed on the client PC when installing Pathfinder Office software. On the other hand, the license manager is installed separately, usually on a network where it can be accessed by multiple client PCs acting as a manager of distribution. With the license manager, you have the ability to add and remove a new or updated license, as well as view the usage of a license. Using the license administrator, you can select which type of license to use. The options are either a single use or floating license. Or if you do not have an installation code available, you can choose to use the viewer mode. Another feature of the license administrator is the ability to change the network that the software obtains its license from. If you are migrating to a new network or server, this is the application you would use. Remember, you can switch between single and floating license setup, but a few additional steps are involved. I will elaborate further in the next slide. When setting up your floating license, make sure that you have full administrative rights on your computer. You will run into issues if restrictions are set on your user account. Also remember that the license manager is backwards compatible for use with older software versions. Just make sure that the version of the license manager is updated when updating the Pathfinder software. I had made mention about moving to a new network or switching between a single use and floating license setup. Before doing this, notify Frontier Precision and provide the license codes which you want to move. These license codes will need to be deactivated in order to reactivate them on the new network server. Once this is complete, you will be able to reinstall the Mapping and GIS License Manager on the new network. Our last note involves the specific servers that are supported by Trimble Software. Windows Server 2003, 2008, and 2012, along with Citrix Server, have successfully run in the past. If you are unsure about your choice of server, contact Frontier Precision. Now we'll begin the on-screen demo for downloading and installing the software. We'll want to start by opening up a web browser and going to the Frontier Precision Mapping and GIS support site. The URL for that is fpimapping.com. On the navigation bar, hover the mouse over the product support and downloads, and then Trimble, and then click on Software. This will bring you to our Trimble software page where you can click on the link to the GPS Pathfinder Office page. And then on this page, you will want to click Download Software. Choose the version of Pathfinder Office you would like to download. Click your desired version, and then click on the link that appears below it. The zip file will begin downloading in your browser and it will take several minutes. Once the file is finished downloading, you will want to go to your Downloads folder and extract the files from the zip folder. Double-click your way through the folders until you find the Auto Run Executable file. Double-click that to begin the setup. To begin the install, click Install on the main menu. Then you have the option to either install Pathfinder Office or the License Manager. Click on the License Manager and then click Run. The installation could take a few minutes. I have sped up the video to save time. Choose a username and a company name and who the application will be used by. Then click Next until the installation has completed. Now 
Now we will quickly install GPS Pathfinder Office. Click Install GPS Pathfinder Office, and then click Run. Choose your language and press OK. Click Next until you get to the Choose License Type screen, right here. You will have the option to select what type of license you want to use. For your convenience, you can use single or floating license right now, but I am going to choose Pathfinder Office Viewer so I can show you how to set up the license code using the License Manager application. Click Next until you get to the Automatically Start Programs page. You can choose to automatically start the Project Changer or Connection Manager programs whenever you start up your computer. Read the info on the screen for more details. I'm going to leave both unchecked and click Next. The installation will continue for another few minutes. When you get this notice about changes in geoid model interpolation, read it and click OK. This window will pop up and prompt you if you want to check for updates. I'm going to select No and skip this step. The installation is now complete. Let's move into the License Manager application walkthrough. On your taskbar, click Start then All Programs, and then Trimble, Mapping and GIS License Manager, and then License Manager. The License Manager window will open up and you'll see that it has a pretty basic layout. Let's add a new license code by clicking on the Add button in the top right. Here you will enter in your installation code. If you do not know your code, contact Frontier Precision. Click Next and here you will choose an activation method. Click the next button and the activation will process. When activation has completed, click finish. You will see that your installation code has been added to the library of installed licenses. You can check to see if the license is being used if it shows up in the bottom list. Only one user can use a license at a time. To remove a license, click the red X on the right side of the window. Click the Refresh button to refresh the list of license codes. Under the Options menu, you can click on Service IP Address to obtain information about the network you have the License Manager set up on. It gives you the IP address and port number that you will want to copy down at this time. You will type these numbers into the License Administrator later. There is also a Restart Service button, which you would want to click if you are ever experiencing issues starting up Pathfinder Office while using a floating license. In the Options menu, you also have the ability to change proxy settings if you are using a proxy. Under the View menu, you have the option for Statistics. This will show you the usage statistics for license codes. And then finally in the lower left corner you will find your help button. Refer to the License Manager help documentation before calling technical support. That wraps up the License Manager. Let's move in to the License Administrator and see what it has to offer. Navigate to the License Administrator application by clicking Start, and then All Programs, and then Trimble, then GPS Pathfinder Office, and then GPS Pathfinder Office Ad License Administrator. The License Administrator window will open up and look similar to this. In the application, you have the option to select the source of your license. It will either be Viewer, which runs without a license but has limited capabilities, Single Use, which is ideal if you are going to be the only user of the license, and our last option is Floating. To set up our floating license, we will want to use the IP address and port number we copy down from the License Manager. Type in those numbers with a colon separating the IP address and port number. Then click the Test button. If the test is unsuccessful, then you might have a firewall restricting you from reaching the License Manager on the network. You can also change your server address by clicking the Change button. Here you would simply choose the network in which the License Manager was installed on. There is also a Borrow License button. You would use this to borrow a license from the Mapping and GIS License Manager for one, two, three, or four weeks. This enables you to work disconnected from the floating License Manager without switching to viewer mode in the Trimble GPS Pathfinder Office software. 
The license is automatically returned to the floating license manager at the end of the requested duration, but cannot be returned prior to the, spe to the specified duration. Finally, there is help documentation available here as well. You can click the help button or press F1 on your keyboard. This concludes our orientation to the GPS Pathfinder Office License Administrator. Now let's open up GPS Pathfinder Office to make sure that our setup was successful. Navigate to the program by clicking Start, then All Programs, then Trimble, GPS Pathfinder Office, and then GPS Pathfinder Office. Upon opening, it will ask you to load or create a new project. Do so and click OK. Then go up to the Help menu and click About GPS Pathfinder Office. Here you will find the software version number and how the product is licensed. You can see that my license type is Normal Floating and the license server it is running on. Everything seems like it was set up OK, so I'll close out of the program. Here are some troubleshooting tips to help you if you run into an error saying that the license is not available or the test connection fails. Make sure to check with Frontier Precision that your installation code is compatible with the software version you have installed. Remember the license manager is backwards compatible but not forwards compatible. If you are running a floating license, remember the software program cannot be in use by another computer. Only one copy of the license can be checked out at a time. Finally, make sure that you do not have any firewalls blocking you. LicenseMonitor.exe runs in the background and cannot be blocked from the firewall. Remember, contact technical support with any other issues that may come about. This concludes today's Frontier Precision Tech Talk. We hope you found this video beneficial and will join us again next time. Thanks!